Epiretinal membranes occur in middle to late age and they are a reaction of the eye, usually to the release of gel from inside the eye as one ages. Pigment cells are released into the vitreous jelly. These then settle on the retina at the back of the eye, usually over the macula area, and unfortunately in some cases slowly contract and pull on the retina, causing distortion and scarring. Patients present with blurred vision and distortion, and if severe enough, can warrant surgical intervention. Vitrectomy surgery offers a good opportunity to go inside the eye and peel away the scar tissue, and in around 85% of people, we would see significant visual improvement. Often never back to normal, but certainly better than the natural history. Surgery is usually carried out as a day case under local anaesthetic, and vitrectomy surgery takes place through the white of the eye where three small incisions are made. This allows me to go inside the eye to remove the vitreous gel and have access to the retina itself. Instruments are introduced through the vitreous cavity, allowing access to the macula area, and usually a pair of forceps are used to peel away the scar tissue that sits on the macula itself. Procedure is often completed with insertion of intraocular air, and this lasts about one week, during which time driving and flying are not uh, advised. However, after a week, usually most activities can be resumed, and the procedure is relatively pain-free with most patients only requiring a few paracetamol or something on the first evening.